Aries, welcome to Water Baby Tarot. This is your love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. Oh my god, I hope you guys are doing good, and I hope you guys had a really good winter solstice. I've had some major technical difficulties last couple days. I did the partner reading for Aries three times. Like, completed them and everything. And I lost the first two because of technical weirdness. So I'm like, I, I got a little frustrated. Um, and I took a little time out to uh, just get away from that for a little bit. But things to be working out fine now. So I'm back to doing readings. So Aries, let's just dive right in and see what we had for the meditative session. And then we'll go into the pre-shuffle. And then we'll go ahead and get into the actual reading, okay? So Aries... Uh, just tapping into your energy right away. I he I heard golden child and I was like, oh no, where are we going with this? It was, I gotta be honest, like it was a very entitled kind of bratty energy and it's like someone's trying to figure out like, why, like why aren't things working out in my favor? Like why aren't things working out for me? Like I deserve this and I deserve that and I feel like this person's gonna be lashing out at somebody. Keep in mind Aries, this could be you. When I pick up on energy in the meditative session, it can be your energy, it could be someone within your environment, someone that you know, someone you're energetically attached to, or it can be vice versa, right? Um, yeah, so I I doubt these are, this is you because I know the, like I know my subs are not like this. <laughs> But I very entitled, very entitled energy. Yeah. And I feel like this person is lashing out at someone um, and blaming them. I have to be honest, like, uh, like blaming them um, for their circumstances. And I feel like they have had unfortunate circumstances. I do feel that like, they're, they're kind of scared. Because I feel like this person, like I said, like golden child syndrome, almost right, like, they were either overly praised as a child, or they were just, they just always had things handed to them, or things just always worked out for them, because I feel like things were taken care of for them. Yeah, like, like, what's that phrase? Um, born of the silver spoon in their mouth? that phrase that's the phrase right like I think that I think that's the phrase um anyway so this person's gonna be lashing out for sure I can feel it it's like they're so frustrated and angry they just want to blame somebody and they don't want to own up to the fact that well maybe you're in the circumstances because you shouldn't have done certain things that got you in those circumstances right it's just that kind of energy um I do feel that someone will I do feel like this person is not just talking to like one person I feel like they're asking for help for multiple people like they're not too prideful to ask for help or a handout but it's like it's not the help they want this is so interesting yes yeah, such an entitled energy it's not the help they want it's not the help they want or it's like not as much as they're asking for like if they're asking for money let's say they ask for like a couple hundred bucks probably more than that to be honest if they're asking for money um and let's say someone's like well I'll give you 50 and they're like but I asked for 200 you know it's it's that kind of circumstance I don't like it I gotta be honest I really don't like it uh and then I heard springtime is far <laughs> it's like uh-oh yeah I, I literally heard springtime is far and you know Aries your birth your birthday is in spring right yeah April yeah your birthday is in spring um, so this could be something happening on your birthday, or like I said, it could just be pertaining to you specifically, or just feeling like, you know, maybe you got it really good and like you're really far out of reach from this person, okay? But I do feel that this person will find a turnaround point at some time, but I feel like it, it probably won't be till spring, honestly. Like, wherever this person's at energetically with all this shit, like, it's pretty low. It's pretty low vibrational. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle here okay so little sister oh definitely someone's little sister that's so weird that that just came in so strong it's someone's little sister someone needed to hear that i don't know that, why that came through someone needed to hear that <laughs> oh my god i love you guys whoever that was for i feel like you're watching me and you're like yes she is like she's a spoiled princess like some of you guys literally just went like that oh my god i love you uh so let's keep going oh weird i just heard strudel Maybe you like Strudel, but it's like so weird that's coming up. Or it's a nickname for somebody. That's so weird. I don't think I even had Strudel myself. I don't even know what it's what it's like. Um, I, I know it's a food. It's interesting. Pleasing for any messages of truth, thing, and love for those who need it. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What kind of bird is that? I'm seeing a bird. Big ass bird. It's like white and black. I don't know what kind of bird that is. Um... You've got a bird's eye view of something, Aries. Someone's got a bird's eye view of something. Um, 
bird's eye view on the situation. So yeah, someone has a bird's eye view on the situation. I feel like they're not saying much. I feel like they're taking a step back. I do feel like this is a person who might get confronted by this entitled, en entitled energy. Excuse me. Entitled energy. They're bringing up gold again. This is so weird. It was golden child before. Now it's just gold. To find the gold. Why does this feel like a family squabble? <laughs> we got an entitled golden child person who's asking for more or not happy with what they're getting. I feel like this might even be about like family money or inheritance. It's like there's a golden child who's find themselves in, in some kind of like financial constraints or some kind of down and out situation. They need help. They feel like it's unfair, like finding themselves in the position they're finding themselves in. But I do feel like it's pretty much self-inflicted. Um, and then we have another energy, which Aries, I do feel like it's you, who's got a bird's eye view on the situation. And can, it, again, it's like almost like seeing the gold, knowing, knowing where the gold is. Like what the hell is... Why does this feel so familiar? This is so strange. Um, I really feel like for some of you, this is a family squabble. It could also be work where it's like someone has access to the family money or knows of the family money and you've got someone who's entitled, uh, who's like down and out, who like needs assistance. But it's like, again, they found themselves in a situation because of their poor choices and they're asking for more and they want more. It's, now it's turning into like a very hounding energy. Some of this could be transpiring into different um, aspects of your life where you have like a very greedy taking hounding energy and you have someone who's very noble, very honorable, who like, who understands um, how to manage access to something very valuable, okay? So just apply that to an aspect in your life that you resonate with. Like that could be in work, that could be family finances. But yeah, we have an honorable energy who has access to something valuable and we have a greedy energy who's like more, 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 give me more, give me more, give me more. Where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? And they're in unfortunate circumstances because they're greedy and entitled. All right, let's keep it going. Please important messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of uh, 2019. They're showing me that bird again. I don't know what kind of bird that is. Do Canadian geese fly? I know it, it looks like a Canadian goose, but I'm like, do they fly? They're so big. I'm like, now I sound ignorant, but I'm pretty sure they fly. I'm pretty sure because, you know, not all birds can fly, right? Just kind of sad when you think about it. Like, imagine having wings and not being able to fly. Like, that's really sad. <laughs> um, anyway, so Canadian, uh, a Canadian goose might be very symbolic for you guys, or some of you guys can be Canadian. Or live on the northern uh, tip, you know, tips of North America. Please for any messages of truth, link, and love for those who need it. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, the rest of 2019. I just got the word smite. Where are we going, Aries? Where are we going? Placing for any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. Hearing Gatekeeper. Placing for any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Ooh, we got a page of pentacles and eight of cups in reverse. Piscean energy. So yeah, someone's trying to figure out how to get out of a situation that they feel stuck in. Page of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, it's that, yeah. It's like trying to figure it out. Trying to figure it out. What tangible moves can I make? What resources do I have to get out of a situation to get moving? But they feel stuck. Trapped. I just heard trapped. Temperance in reverse. Sagittarian energy. Some major imbalance here. Uh getting a draining what is this someone's energy is like being like just drained or plummeted it could even be their finances it's like anything that represents energy um that sustains someone it's just like plummeting anything that contributes to their stability that could be money that could be finances that could even be time could even be time time's coming in really strong Pleasing for any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. It's, it almost, oh God, it almost feels like someone's trying to dig themselves out of a hole. Someone could have racked up a lot of debt and they don't know what to do. Yeah, they don't know what to do. Uh-oh. Someone, I can, I can feel someone's anxiety, like, as I said that. 
they don't know what to do. They're running out of time. They're running out of energy. They're going deeper into a hole and they can't get out. Pleasing for any messages of truth. This feels like a money issue. Uh, Page of Cups. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. Why do I feel a helping hand here? I've never seen that craft in the in the background. That's interesting. I've never seen that craft in the background of this card. Hold on. This is a steampunk deck, by the way, for those who are curious. I'm just trying to get to focus. Doesn't want to focus. So there's a craft back there that I've never seen. It's really sticking out to me for this uh, for this reading. And like I said, this is still the pre-shuffle. Someone could be traveling here to communicate that they need help. I feel an honest plea for help. An honest plea for help. Yeah, an honest plea for help. Please for any messages of truth, and love for those who need it. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Ace of Swords. Yeah, honest. An honest plea for help. Please and for new messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. It feels panicky, though. It feels really, really panicky. I feel like this person is going to try to act all cool, calm, and collected, but I think they're not going to get the help that they are asking for. It's like, I feel like what they're asking for is kind of above and beyond because they're so deep in a hole of needing help, and the person who's receiving this communique is just like, uh, well, this is all I can afford to give you, and they kind of freak out is what I'm getting. Ooh. Yeah, they get mad. Queen of Wands in a verse. Aries energy could also be uh, fire or water. I feel like someone dug themselves into a hole because of money issues like or an addiction issue. Temperance in a verse can also be addiction. Um, but it, it's it's whatever this addiction is, it requires a lot of money backing. OK, so that could be drugs. That could be gambling. It could be all sorts of things, even be sex. Right. But it's something that requires a lot of money. A lot of money has been lost. And I feel like for some, it was to keep up an image or to keep up pretenses. And now they're like, well, I'm in the hole and I don't know what to do. I feel like this person, ha sorry, I'm getting all kinds of downloads. Um, I feel like this person had a plan of how to get out of it, but it, it's it's going to backfire. It's going to backfire. Oh, wow. Okay, Aries, let's get into your reading now that we're 12 minutes in. Uh, for those of you who are new to my channel or new to tarot, please know these messages are very, very general, okay? They are not for everybody. We are reading for thousands of people here on YouTube. So if it's not your story, that's okay. Don't throw hate, don't throw shade. Just support those uh, who actually resonate with the reading, okay? Um, so keep in mind, guys, we are working with energy. So just know that messages can be reversed or vice versa. Don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. This is for the rest of 2019. I'm like, what is, what's all my spiel? Uh, this is for the rest of 2019. But of course, as you know, time is not linear. Whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it. This could have already happened to you. It could be happening to you right now or may happen to you in the near future. Okay? Even if you see this for a year from now and you're guided to watch it, that's when you're guided to watch it. We all work through energy differently at different ways and different rates. Now let's get into this. Any messages for Aries regarding love? They're being taught a lesson. Thank you, Spirit. They're being taught a lesson. They had a chance to stop this spiral, and they didn't. They didn't. They didn't learn. So now they're learning the hard way. That's what Spirit's telling me. Now they're learning the hard way. Any messages for Aries regarding love for the rest of 2019? And yes, this could be for family, friends, or work, or even self-growth because of the spectrum of love emotions. Every love reading, every reading is essentially a love reading. Ten of swords. Oh, Gemini energy. Oh, this feels crappy. They're out of options. That's what I feel with this. I feel with this that they're out of options. Aries, this might be someone who burned a bridge with you. Yeah, this might be someone who actually burned a bridge with you and now they're asking for help. Wow. But they're out of options. Any messages for Aries? Any messages for Aries regarding love for the rest of 2019? Any messages for Aries regarding love for the rest of 2019? Any messages for Aries regarding love for the rest of 2019? For some, they could have trusted the wrong people for an investment. Yeah, for some, they trusted the wrong people for an investment. Any messages for Aries regarding love for the rest of 2019? And now here's Temperance Upright, Sagittarian Energy to restore the balance. Yeah, I really feel like they, they were 
learning the lesson the hard way. They had a chance to learn it the not so hard way, but now they're learning it the hard way. And now it's time to refine to refine some balance here. Get back on their feet. With temperance coming up so much in your reading, even in the pre-shuffle, uh, so prominently like this, I do feel a little bit of divine intervening to some extent here. Yeah, if this person betrayed you in the past or burned a bridge with you in the past, they're they're meant to come back at this time. For them to, to cement a lesson for them, but also to restore healing, I believe, for you, Aries. Any other messages for Aries regarding love for the rest of 2019? Ooh, we got an emperor. Aries. Could also be Taurus for me as a reader. Also Mars, which will include Scorpio, divine masculine energy. Emperor is head honcho. It's a CEO energy. It's also someone who holds power or rank, very patriarchal. Could be a father, a grandfather, or a boss, or a business owner. I did just, I just, just hear leader. Leader. Aries, even if you're female, I feel like you're being seen as a leader. The, oh. Aries, this might have been what happened when they burned a bridge with you. Okay? Again, this is not for everybody, but... I think they wanted to be you. Mm. This person wants to be head honcho. And I think they went about it in not so clean ways or like superficial ways. Like just kind of thinking of like the money 3D aspect of it. And they're they're finding themselves in a, in a bad place. Okay. But that's the kind of energy I'm getting. Like they wanted to be you. Any other messages for Aries? <sighs> Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Yeah, I think this person's lost a lot of money. Lost money for some, they even lost a home. You could have known this person for a long time. I feel like a long-standing connection or a really intense connection or a really intimate connection was, I feel burned, like burned is, keeps coming up here. It even came up in the partner reading, was just burned between the two of you. Let's see what else we got. Be so careful with this person, Aries, because, like, I don't love their energy. Just feels a little snaky slithery, you know? Any other messages for Aries regarding love for the rest of 2019? Yeah, for some, this is a divorcing energy. Justice Universe just came out. Any other messages for Aries regarding love for the rest of 2019? Okay. Yeah, Justice Universe, Libra energy. Wow. Then we have Nine of Cups with Strength that came out together, Pisces and Leo. But yeah, this energy right here, someone could have lost a lot of money through some kind of legal bullshit, not bullshit, but like legal proceedings, uh, either by breaking the law, getting arrested, or having to pay out some money, or getting a divorce, having to liquidate assets here, or someone taking someone to court. Emperor could also be a judge, okay? Oh, yeah, someone lost big time. I'm just hearing big time. They're out of options. They're at options. And now over here, we have a nine of cups with strength. Why does this feel suspect to me? Why does this feel suspect to me? Nine of cups is a wish fulfillment energy. Okay, it's, it's happy, happy, happy times. Strength can be an energy of confidence, but also control. Okay. Um, Aries, I feel like you're in a good spot. This person's clearly not. This person's clearly not here. Um, I'm just, I, I can't shake this energy of like, they might want to take control of money or your money situation to have power again or to have some kind of resources again. I can't shake that feeling intuitively. And maybe because you're picking up on it too and you're like, mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I just can't shake it. I just can't shake it. This person wants to be on their feet again. There's nothing wrong with that. We we all want to be like that when we're down and out. We all just want to be stable. I just don't love how desperate this person feels, okay? Because they've hit rock bottom in a bad way. So let's go ahead and look at Ten of Swords. Oh, I'm sorry. Overall energy. <laughs> I totally forgot. I got so sucked into that. Two of Wands, Aries. Yeah, see? And then there's the communique. And it's the Knight of Swords, right? That's exactly what I was describing. It's that panicky energy. Uh, it can be coming at you in a very aggressive way because they don't know what to do. They don't know how to get out of this hole. But let's look at the Ten of Swords. Uh, you know, I think you sent them worth it in a while. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Sorry. So I'm a Ten of Swords. Talk about Ten of Swords for Aries regarding love for the rest of 2019. Talk about 
Ten of Swords for Aries regarding love for the rest of 2019. Queen of the Ten of Swords for Aries regarding love for the rest of 2019. Someone for some of you there there's it was a gambling issue. For some of you it was a gambling issue. Um I do feel like they're going to Gamblers Anonymous. I do feel like they are. But everyone's situation is different. Like that just came through really strong. Can I have a ten of swords? Time about ten of swords for Aries regarding love for us for 2019. Spirit's Spirit's also saying some just like to work hard and play harder. Kind of got them into this mess. Time about ten of swords for Aries, and for some they've just they decided to partner or deal with the wrong people. Time about ten of swords. Ooh. The tower in reverse, Scorpionic energy, so Aries, um, sorry, Mars energy, so Scorpio and Aries. Ooh, we got a queen of wands upright on the bottom here. Yeah, the tower came down on this person hard. It came down hard. Yeah, I did just hear gavel came down hard. Yeah, for some, this was a legal issue. Or they got taken to court, lost money, or they got arrested. Tell me about Ten of Swords. Three of wands in reverse, Aries energy. Yeah, this was so not what they expected to happen. They almost feel like they were cheated out of what, yeah, again, this entitlement's coming in again. Uh, they got, they feel like they got cheated out of what they deserved, what they were entitled to. Talk about the Ten of Swords. Death. There's death. In reverse, Scorpionic energy here. This is a lot of breaking this person down. A lot of breaking this person down. And they need it. They need it. They need, they need to be broken down. And I don't mean in like, you know, they need to be broken down. I don't mean like that. But I mean, clearly this person's got some shit some ways of being that are not exactly healthy tell me about ten of swords Bloop. that really wants to come out tell me about ten of swords for aries regarding love for the rest of 2019 tell me about ten of swords for aries regarding love for the rest of 2019 we got two more cards out here High Priestess in reverse. Piscean energy could also be Gemini for me as a reader with the King of Swords in reverse. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. Ooh, manipulation. Manipulation. Realizing that they were dealing with someone manipulative, a liar, a cheater. Aries, you could have found out you were dealing with this kind of person because of some legal proceedings that had to come to light or because of this financial issue. For a lot of you, this person struggled with financial issues and now you're finding out about it. There is some kind of sense of betrayal. Um... For some of you, this is relating to the bur the bridge they burned with you, and you realize that they were just manipulating you the whole time. Overall energy, we do have is it the six or the nine. No, it's the nine. <laughs> My, I can never tell. Uh, nine of cups, Piscean energy. Underneath that, we do have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. That's a very interesting combination here with the Ten of Swords. Oh. Yeah, so Aries, whenever this burn got bri this bridge got burned, excuse me, uh, it was very painful. It was very, very painful. You found out this person was a manipulator, a liar, a cheater. Take your pick. Take your pick. A con man. Some of you found out this person was an actual con artist. Um, scammer. Scammer. Scamming people. But it kind of was what you needed. You needed to be separated from this person. I feel like the divine made it happen. I feel like the divine was protecting you. When, the, when this bridge got burned, I feel like the divine was protecting you because things for this person only got crazier, okay? And they fell down hard. They fell hard off their tower, okay? And they were gonna take you down with them if you didn't get away from them. I feel like divine intervened to get you away. And honestly, it was a good thing. It was a good thing. I'll be honest with you, Aries, you're not gonna like this, but um, whatever... They manipulated you out of or into doing this could have been purely business not just love keep that in mind guys because we do have a lot of like pentacles bossy boss like energy here keep getting like scam and shit like that um anyway for some they were very pleased with themselves i'm not gonna lie to you for some they were they were but this person needed to be torn down and they're getting torn down right now and you're gonna be finding out about it oh wow all right so now we have the Emperor 
with uh, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Justice in reverse. I'm not interested in looking at Temperance because I do feel like that's just indicating divine intervent intervention to break this person down here. And now we're getting that closure sort of energy, right? Um, and healing can take place. People can balance their shit out. People can work on their addictions. That's the only reason I feel like Temperance is here in this situation. I'm more interested in this. So let's look at Justice in reverse. What deck do I want? Let's do Gilded. Let's do Gilded. I haven't used Gilded in a while. Talk about Justice in Reverse. Talk about Justice in Reverse for Aries regarding love for the rest of 2019. Talk about Justice in Reverse for Aries regarding love for the rest of 2019. Justice in reverse for Aries regarding love for the rest of 2019. Wow. Sorry, I just got a download. For some of you, you are dealing with someone who slept with people to like take advantage of them financially, like intentionally. And I feel like it was short term, like it wasn't like a long term game of like, I'm going to marry someone for money and then I'll be set. No, like dating multiple people or partnering up with multiple people and like trying to like be Mr. or Mrs. Charisma <laughs> for money purposes. Tell me about justice in reverse. Wow. Tell me about justice in reverse for Aries regarding love for the rest of 2019. Second, we've got the Page of Pentacles. Okay, interesting. Let's see what else wants to come out. Yeah, immature way of looking at money. That's what I'm getting with that. Immature way of looking at money. Talking about justice in reverse. Yeah, I feel like someone was very money focused. Whoa. Yeah, look at that shit. Magician in reverse, mercurial. So Virgo, Gemini could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader, divine masculine energy with the moon. Piscean could also be Cancer. And then the king of cups in reverse, Scorpio could also be water or air. Yeah, someone was hella manipulative because they had their eye on money. All right, with the moon and the king of cups in reverse, secretly being very emotionally manipulative. And yeah, this person wants to ask for help. Talk about justice in reverse. Jesus. Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this very selfish person. Ace of Cups in reverse can be a card of ego. It can also be a card of selfishness, self-centeredness, looking out for the self. Talk about justice in reverse. Having um, no compassion, no empathy. Talk about justice in reverse. Talk about justice in reverse. Yeah, I feel like this per yeah, I really feel like this person's gonna be asking for help. Yeah, see nine of pentacles of earth, because they're they're not stable. They're not stable. They can't stand on their own two feet. They're not self-reliant. This is an energy of someone who can't be independent, who can't take care of themselves. Yeah, they're gonna be asking for help. Overall energy, we have seven of pentacles, and then we have the king of wands, Leo energy, could also be fire or air, and then we have judgment. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Yeah, they're gonna come to you, Aries, and they're gonna want you to, to reinvest with them. I mean, I think it's very clear you shouldn't, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> you do what you want to do, boo, okay? Um, but yeah, it's pretty damn clear to me. They, they they want you to invest in them. They want you to invest in them. They feel like it's really unfair. They're in a situation that they're finding themselves in, but I really feel like it's self-inflicted. However, they burned a bridge with you was pretty fucking awful. You realize how manipulative they were. You might have been dealing with like a narcissist. You know, a lot of us were in the, in the last year and well, you know, last decades, however, many, you know, decide how many last decades you were dealing with narcissists and they were pleased with how they handled it. They were, even though it was shitty, like th that's not an awesome energy. That is not an okay energy. And they are still manipulative. And they're getting torn down for it and they want help, especially with the page of pentacles here. They want help. I really don't like it. Um, let's look at the Seven of Pentacles. Let's look at the Seven of Pentacles. I'm going to use Lenormand deck on this one. I'm going to use OG. I'm going to use OG. Talk about Seven of Pentacles. 
Talking about Seven of Pentacles for Aries. We've got the bridge with the Six of Wands. Wanting to mend bridges, yeah. A bridge that's been what? Burned. <laughs> with the coffin, Jesus. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. This person cannot take care of themselves right now. They are so far deep in a hole and they want help. They want assistance. The bridge also indicates difficulty here. It's called the crossing, actually. I just call it the bridge. Um, it's called the crossing here. Uh, it is a difficult challenge for them to get anyone to invest in them at this point or to help them out in the way they need help to get out of their hole. But they burned a lot of bridges and they know it. They know it. Not just with you. I'm getting they burned a lot of bridges with a lot of people. Time of Seven of Pentacles. Time of Seven of Pentacles. They want to get back on their feet again. They want to be independent again. Oh, how interesting. <laughs> Overall, we've got the tarot card reader. I think it's called Diviner, Diviner. I don't know how you would pronounce that. It just indicates esoteric or the spiritual. Underneath that, we do have, whoa, the house. The heart. Holy shit. The key the man the letter i i'm baffled i'm sorry guys the birds jesus and the stork to change shit okay so let me explain what all this is so first of all let's let's take this one out of the equation we'll get back to that so we have the house with the heart with the key this is quite literally how to get into someone's home how to get into someone's heart how to do that how do i get into someone's home how do i get into someone's heart then we have the man with the letter, the birds, and then the stork. Stork is an energy of change, um, birthing, rebirthing, starting anew, a second chance. This person's trying to wants to communicate to who? A queen of cups. Aries, I do feel like that's you. They want to communicate to a female here. They're trying to get into this person's heart. They're trying to get into this person's home because they want to mend a bridge that they've burned. Because they're in a hole. And they don't know what to do. And they need help and they need assistance, but they are they look like they're still manipulative to me. Okay, they look like they're still manipulative to me. I'd be very weary of this person. So what came out ahead of that was a tarot card reader. I'm a little nervous that this is the first card out, okay? Because this is someone who's trying to use their intuition or going to mystics or psychics to get the answer. This person could be intuitive and they use their abilities in negative ways. There are a lot of people like that, especially on YouTube, okay? <laughs> <laughs> let's not go there um i just don't like it it feels icky it feels icky 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 i don't like it i don't like it i don't think you're gonna like it either aries so let's go to the nine of cups with strength yeah aries i really feel like you're the one who's really happy here i feel like you're the one who's really really happy you're really solid you're you're in a really good place and now this person's like I burned a bridge with Aries, but now I need help. So let me try to get back into Aries heart. Like, I just, I don't like that. I really don't like that energy. It's fucked up. Sorry, but it, it, it is, right? Yeah. Let's look at strength. Let's look at strength. Mm, I'm going to use the Honest Truth deck. Tell me about strength. Tell me about strength. strength for Aries regarding love for the rest of 2019. Tell strength for the for Aries regarding love for the rest of 2019. Yeah, seven of pentacles, touring energy, that reevaluation, right? Aries, when this person communicates to you, I don't know. I just, I, I really think you got to be so careful with this person. Talk about strength for Aries. Yeah, see, it, it makes you so concerned. Nine of Swords of the High Priestess. You're wondering what you don't know. Mm -hmm. you're wondering what you don't know you're using your intuition too this is interesting both of you are using your intuitions here you're wondering what you don't know about the situation they might be trying to put a really pretty spin on it or try to put a very victimized spin on whatever's happened to them play about strength ace of cups in reverse you're afraid that they're really just being selfish again and and honestly 
remember, damn it, why can't I hold these up? You're right, <laughs> okay? From the way the cards are laid out, you're right. Tell you about strength. For some of you, this is just a karmic lesson and for you to get closure, okay? Especially with all this eclipse energy, bringing a lot of people back from the past. The Fool. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because it's a Uranus card. Overall energy. Woo! Ten of Swords in reverse. Gemini. Wow. With the Sun in reverse. Holy shit, guys. The Twin Flame card. Empress in reverse. Now, here's where there's going to be a little bit of a tough lesson. Some of you, this is your counterpart. Or someone you thought was your counterpart. They're telling me they're telling me yes on that one. They're telling me hard yes on that one. For some of you, this is someone you thought was your counterpart. Doesn't mean they were. We now have an emperor and empress on the board, by the way. Ten of Swords with the Sun. I just get more of that burning of the bridge, right? Burning of the bridge. I, yeah, I really feel like for a lot of you, you thought this was your counterpart, but they really weren't. Or it was just a very intense soul connection. Twin Flame card doesn't always have to be a counterpart card. It can also just indicate very intense soul connection or they burned a bridge with you so bad it like it hurt your soul. Okay? It hurt your soul and it was a, this person I think was a major milestone on your journey in life. Okay? Which I think is why you're really struggling with this. You're like, I don't think you ever thought you'd speak to this person again. I don't think you ever thought you'd have to deal with this person again in business and or love. It feels more like romance to me because they're trying to get into your heart. But then you're wondering... Like, are you foolish to believe them? Do I help this person? Do I even hear this person out? They still look manipulative to me, Aries. They still look manipulative to me. And no matter who this person was to you, they hurt you on a soul level. Like, your soul was hurt. Not just your heart, your soul was fucking hurt, okay? And I think this, it taught you a lot and it made you really strong, made you a lot stronger. But now they're back. Okay, this is a time to make sure that you've really learned your lessons here. And it doesn't mean to not have compassion for them, right? Because that's also part of being like high vibe is like, I can feel for you, but I don't got to suffer for you. <laughs> right? Like, I'm sorry you're finding yourself in this situation, but I can't help your ass. You know, it's okay to be like that. Um, but to also not like, to not harbor resentment towards this person, whatever they did to you. But Aries, I think you know. I think you know how this person really is, okay? Um, before we pull any Oracle decks, I kind of want to look at their intention a little closer. Even if it's just one card. Um, let's do Spellcasters here. Can you show me this person's intention towards Aries, please? Can you show me this masculine's intention towards Aries? Can you show me this masculine's intention towards Aries? Can you show this masculine's intention towards Aries? Oh, and what I say, just even if it's just one card, King of Swords upright. Why don't I? Why am I struggling to believe it, Aries? Why am I struggling to believe this? King of Swords, but over is truth. Their intention is to be honest. I don't know. I want one more. I want one more. I want one more. <laughs> I don't know. Come on, Spirit. Give me one more on this one for this person's intention to Aries. I don't know. King of Swords can also be a little cold. They can be. They can be very matter of fact. And like when they say truth, guys, like, yeah, truth, but like they could also tell like not tell you things. They could tell you truths, but also not tell you things. It can be an a King of Swords upright can be someone who omits. It can be. For strategy. Omits for a strategy. Ooh, Ten of Cups. All right. Well, Aries, they're saying that their intention is. Ten of Cups with the King of Swords to speak truly on what they want and what would make them happy. I don't know. I want one more. I want one more. What do we have here? Oh, High Priestess in a verse and the Three of Swords to reveal pain. To reveal how much pain they're in. The devil on the bottom. I'm just like, I'm not convinced. <laughs> Aries, and I don't think you're going to be convinced either. But that's what it says. Their intention is to be honest about what they want, about what would make them happy with their Ten of Cups. Whatever their version of Ten of Cups is, doesn't have to include you. But whatever their Ten of Cups ver uh, version is, what they're asking for is help. That's what they're asking for. And then we have the High Priestess in a verse with the Three of Swords to reveal secrets of pain and heartache. Then we've got Devil on the bottom. I'm just, what's underneath the Devil? 
Ooh, yeah, see, Three of Cups in reverse. Ooh, a drama, Knight of Swords in reverse with the Five of Swords. See, that's what I mean, Aries. That's what I mean. I'm like, I don't trust this person. This is what they're saying. But look at this. Devil, Three of Cups in reverse, Knight of Swords with the Five of Swords. I'm just... Mm -mm. Use your discernment here, but Aries, I think I already know how you feel about this. Nine of Pentacles just wanted to come out, by the way. Just indicating more of your energy here. They know they hurt you and they might own up and they're going to own up to that. But like I said, I'm like, it's got to be for their own benefit. Yeah, with that Knight of Swords and the Five of Swords, I just, I don't love that energy. That's a very egotistical energy. That's mind games, right? Mind games. What just came out here? <gasps> five of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, they're down and out. They're down and out and they're regretful and they hate it. They hate where they are. Oh, where did that card come from? Okay, that's weird. Three of Wands. That like was all the way over there. I didn't even see that card come out. Aries energy. I hate to say it, Aries, but they want to come in because they're desperate. I hate to say it like that, but that's just the truth of it. They're coming in because they're desperate. And yeah, they might say, they might own up to what they did to you. They might, but is that enough? You're the masters of your own life. You decide what's best for you in this situation. I don't like their energy personally, but that is me. <laughs> I ain't you, right? I'm not you. Uh, so let's go ahead and use the goddess deck. Where's my goddess deck? Oh, there it is. To get some advice. And then we're going to go ahead. Well, yeah, some advice. <laughs> and then we'll use the spirit animal deck. Please import any messages of truth, thing, and love for those who need it. Oh, see, I'm already like... I get so distracted by that person's energy. Sorry, Aries. Let me come back. Let me come back. What energies will benefit my Aries regarding this spread? What energies will benefit my Aries regarding this spread? What energies will benefit my Aries regarding this spread? Easy does it. Okay. With Una. Oh, I like that name. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Yeah, damn straight in this situation. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. Yeah, you don't gotta jump up and help this person. You don't owe them shit. Let's make that clear. You don't owe this person anything, right? White Tara. Ooh. Sensitivity. You are becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. This person, I think, was a harsh was a harsh environment and chemical to you. Okay, I don't know. I felt the need to say it like that that they were like a toxic chemical to you. Maybe some of you actually feel that way. That's funny. I I really felt compelled to say it like that. What other energies will benefit my Aries regarding this spread? Overall, we have, ooh, Damara, guiding children. You are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. Oh, that's very interesting. Oh, mm. this person's got a pretty bad um, wounded inner child. I'm not saying you need to help them. I'm not saying you need to heal them. And that's not your job, by the way. That's not your job. But I think there's something about you, Aries, that is, excuse me, they see as very motherly. You came across as a queen of cups and an empress the entire time during this reading okay that those are like the mother cards right queen of pentacles would be the only other one that would be i would consider to be a mother card and there could be something about you that reminds them of their mother for better or for worse because the person's inner child is very wounded here that might be um one of the main not main factors but that might be part of the reason you have the dynamic with this person that you do okay well let's go to read some of these off where's my goddess book Hold on, guys. Hold on. Okay. All right, let's go in order. Oh, actually, Damara would be first. Okay. Damara, guiding children. You are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. One can be gentle and a fierce protector simultaneously. Be uh, My vigilant focus on keeping harmony within households stems from my desire for children to maintain their youthful awe and sense of wonder. How else will we ensure that they'll see 
and speak with the fairies? How else will we foster the continuation of children's healing laughter? Join me in guiding the children and you'll see your own imagination sparked by these amazing young beings. Your own enthusiasm and youthful spirit attracts the children's respect and attention. I'll lead you toward young people who can benefit from your help. Spend time with or have a heart to heart talk with your own children. Get into a career involved with helping kids. Volunteer with young people. Know that children will be coming into your life soon. You will be a parent. Take care of your own inner child through play and laughter. A Celtic fertility goddess whose name means gentle, Damara helps to bring peace and harmony to families and within households. She helps children <laughs> maintain their youthful innocence and faith. Damara is happy to guide you with respect to the best way to Jesus. Damara is happy to guide you with respect to the best way to help children, yours or someone else's. This person could have a child. It's possible. And that's maybe why they need help so desperately but i really feel like it's about their inner child and i feel like they there's something about you like for some of you not all of you because some of you this is you, you know for some of you there's no female involved in this right um yeah but for some of you it's like you remind them of their mother in some way shape or form and that is why you have the dynamic that you have with this person and i think there's something about your energy that could be very healing for their inner child but that's not your responsibility okay all right so let's keep it going Um. Una, easy does it. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. Nurturing a cause or relationship is a long-term commitment and, and one that cannot be rushed. This level of devotion comes from a place of deep loving and concern. I care what happens to my planet and to my loved ones so much that I'm willing to stick with them through thick and thin. This isn't always easy, but to me, it's the only way to ensure that matters are resolved and healed. I listen to the passionate stirrings of my heart. I reach out and take action to let my loved ones know that I deep action to spur on my pet cause never mind what other people think you will benefit from my caring through your with through with your priorities you'll feel so good about yourself if you make time for the relationships and projects that truly count in your heart do what's important to you and do it with absolute devotion but remember that there's no competition for your true life's purpose so there's no need to worry hurry or feel that you have to force things to happen don't worry about your purpose of your goals make no sudden moves slow steady progress is best for now ease into your life and ease into your new life instead of rushing into it do your new work as a part-time venture to begin with while slowly exiting your old career the celtic goddess una is married to I can hold on to say that. Fionbar, the leader of the Irish Tuatha de, de Danans. I apologize if I'm not pronouncing any of these properly. Words are not my forte. Una and her clan were some of the original inhabitants of Ireland. When the Gales invaded their land, the Tuathas didn't run or fight back. Instead, they transformed themselves into leprechauns. Their ing uh, ingenuous, ingenious. Solution allow them to stay in Ireland in peace. Call upon Una for help with your own transitions and she'll guide you in creative and magical ways. Wow. Yeah, you know, like I said, you don't gotta jump up to help this person. If anything, I hate to say it like this, have compassion for them. And if you decide to help them, don't get too close too fast if you decide to help them. That is your decision if you decide to. I'm not recommending it. I'm saying if you do decide to. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I made a second video already and I missed it. My apologies. Um, if, you, if they're asking for money and you want to help them and you do, don't expect that money back. Don't give money expecting it in return. Don't ever do that. It'll just make you resentful. Money isn't important in that way you know not worth it white tara sensitivity you're becoming increasingly sensitive avoid harsh relationships environment situations and chemicals as you've purified your inner world of thoughts actions and intentions it's natural that you seek purity in your outer world as well this is to acknowledge your heightened sensitivity which is as real as it seems you've stripped away the outer protective layers of unneeded defenses which blocked your psychic and spiritual awareness now you're on the path of ascension which calls for your heightened awareness and with this awareness comes new levels of sensitivity to the impure and harsh your body is a trustworthy instrument of measurement of your tolerance level steer clear of that which your body signals you to avoid take excellent care of your body and it shall serve you well 
Acknowledge and honor your sensitivity. Take steps to protect yourself from negativity. Avoid chemicals. Steer clear of situations with loud noise, crowds, violent media, and other triggers. White Tar is an aspect of Tara, a female Buddha and Hindu mother creator. The many female faces of the Buddha and mother creator are represented as various colors of Tara. White Tara represents purity, maturity, and compassion. <laughs> compassion. The the eyes on her hands, feet, and forehead allow her to be aware of all prayers. She helps us to live long and peaceful lives. I feel like for some of you, this is a wound that, like I said, really helped you grow. Some of this person was a big milestone on your journey, and it was a painful one. And I think having this encounter will help you to release any little bits of residual wounding or maybe um, some triggers that developed or defense mechanisms that might have developed. And once you do away with that, it will actually help you even ascend further into your gifts and abilities for those who that applies for. But also it's just going to create so much more energetic space to allow for more beautiful things to come in, you know? All right, so let's go ahead and get the animal deck out and then we'll wrap it up. I know I spent a quite a bit of time talking about this. All right. Any advice for Aries? Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for Aries? Ooh. Elephant spirit, learn from the past. 25 breaking down to a seven and dolphin spirit. This and that are true. 20 breaking down to a two. And then we had two other ones fly out over here. Oh, I can already see the two different energies. I can already see the two different energies represented in these cards. White raven spirit, trust in magic. Yeah, trust in the magic. 66, a master number. And horse spirit, freedom is yours. 33, another master number. I can tell you right now, Here's the masculine energy. Here's the feminine energy. That's a big ass difference. Feminine energies, I really feel like you've done so much work on yourself and you've really found your happy place and you've been ascending. And like I said, I feel like this encounter will just help you skyrocket even further into your ascension. And I do feel like this person's finding their balance, especially with dolphin spirit here and like the elephant spirits, like learning from the past, right? Learning from their past mistakes and learning, um, how their behavior affects people that came across in the partner reading as well um the dolphin spirit is also being balanced in your light and dark energies like understanding that you need both right this person is actually learning how to be more in their light energy to find their balance because i think they spent a lot of time in their shadow more time in their shadow than they probably needed to right um but god feminines look how beautiful your energy is my god it just looks so clean <laughs> It just looks so clean, so purged. I'm hearing wise. I'm also hearing wise as well. Remember, I was getting like a bird's eye view. There you are, bird. There you are, feminine. You know what's up. You understand the situation. I mean, you were already worried about it from the get of like, I don't know, what's this person hiding from me? Are they hiding that they're still selfish? And that realization, because that's going to be the case for some of you that you realize that and then you communicate, you know what, you haven't changed at all. That might be exactly what they need to hear to realize, oh my God, have I fucked myself <laughs> by acting this way? Sometimes that's how it has to happen for people. They have to hit total rock bottom to learn anything because they're stubborn, right? That's how some people are. I'm not saying people deserve that. I'm saying that's what happens to some people because they really try hard to not learn along the way. This person doesn't have a choice anymore to, to learn. It's like they, they have no choice. They're at, they're at bottom. They're at bottom. A big theme that we're experiencing right now with this energy. And feminines, you're just free and happy and fucking beautiful. All right. Let's see what other cards want to come out. Yeah, feminines, you're free. You don't have to let this person drag you down if you don't want them to. And even if their intentions are true, which again, they really don't feel like they are. You've been without them for however long, right? Happy. And like I said, it, there's nothing wrong with helping people. But also understand that when you reach out that hand to help people, you reach out your energy and you create that connection again. So understand that. Like, do you want that? So just think about it like that. Any other one? 
Any other advice for my Aries regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Aries? Oh, got two more cards out here. Three more cards. Any other advice for my Aries regarding this spread? Let's see what they are. Really? Oh, oh Jesus. Strategy, strategy, strategy. That's, sorry, they said a lot really quickly. Strategy is, what the, is what's going on with these three cards. So Owl Spirit 43, breaking down to a seven. So being on your path, you see clearly now using your intuition here. We have the High Priestess a couple times in your deck. Um, both of you, I feel like, are intuitive. Grasshopper Spirit, take a leap of faith. 30, breaking down to a three. And Lizard Spirit, dream the world into being. 38, bringing down to an 11. You can make your dreams come true, Aries. That's the energy that we've been in for the last like month or so. And it is taking us into 2020. And I've talked about that in some of the new moon, full moon videos I've done. Um, but this is knowing what steps to take. Knowing what strategic leaps of faith... Leaps of faith, you don't always know what you're jumping into, but there's still strategy behind it. There can still be strategy behind it. It's not just blindly doing anything, right? It's it's having faith that you've been through what you've been through. You know where you're coming from and where you want to go. Even if you can't see all of the pathways to get there, you just know, I can make this step and take this risk and it can work out or it can't, right? But be smart about this. Use your intuition of where to step. Don't just step anywhere. Don't just be like, oh, you're here. You're giving me an opportunity. Okay, let's do it. You know, like, don't just do that. But like, really think about it. Really go with your gut. Go with your instincts. Where do you feel you belong? Like, where do you feel like you need to step? Where do you feel like you need to step? Okay. Overall energy, we do have Beaver Spirit, Lay a Solid Foundation energy of six. So this is building and working. And then we underneath that, we do have Ant Spirit, time to collaborate. So here's what's interesting, Aries. Overall, the energy is to work together. <laughs> oh, Spirit. Oh, you're asking a lot of people. <laughs> Sorry, guys, you got to laugh at this stuff, right? I mean, I'm, I can't lie, guys. I can't lie to you. That is the advice. You can work with this person, but you better be smart. You better be smart on how you work with this person and build with this person. I mean, I got to be honest. I personally do not trust them. As the reader, I don't trust them. I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm just telling you my opinion. Okay? You're the masters of your own life. You make your own decisions and you're responsible for your own decisions, right? But just be fucking smart, okay? <laughs> be smart. They're suggesting that you do because this is advice. I wouldn't personally or like, well, I shouldn't say I wouldn't. Let me put it this way. If this reading was for me, because it's not, I can guarantee you it's not. Because everyone, everyone always asks me, like, oh, do your readings resonate with you? I can guarantee you this is not a reading for me. Um, if it was a reading for me and these are the cards, I'm like, spirit, you really want me to work with this person? I would sit down and have a conversation with my guides and be like, are you sure you really want me to? <laughs> and I would really figure out safety nets. Safety nets. Because I just feel like this is just... I really feel like this is this is like just it can be a little risky it can be risky and then that's where faith comes in that it is the right decision for you right but there's nothing wrong with having safety nets so if you go into business with this person for example you better have some safety nets in case this person comes up with some fuckery right um or if this person wants to be in a relationship you make sure that person works damn hard to prove that they're really there for the right reason Cre creating a safety net in and of itself just create your safety nets create your safety nets create your safety nets okay oh and guys i know some of you are like why would they want us to work with such an awful person spirit wouldn't want us to do that i can already hear you guys saying that spirit presents us with challenges and things that make us uncomfortable so we can grow and learn that's it that is it right we've all done something shitty in the past we all have been lesser evolved people in the past everyone has everyone has okay and anybody who has these horrible tendencies probably has been really hurt in the past by someone why why because hurt people hurt people so this is presenting a challenge to you aries and you can accept to take you can decide to take it or not their advice is to take it because it's probably going to make you ascend real fucking like amazingly like that's not grant that's not proper grammar it's going to make you it's going to make you skyrocket in your ascension in an amazing way okay that's probably why they want you to do it but aries i hope you guys found this insightful and helpful don't forget to go on patreon vimeo and instagram and i will see you guys later and have a great rest of your 2019 you will see me soon okay you'll see me soon 
Namaste, Aries. Bye.